We all good? I hope so. Legs together, hands on thighs. Kida. Nice. So I remember what I said at the beginning of all classes, make sure you've got safe space, make sure you get gloves ready so they're all on, on standby, the drinks on standby, um, and you've got a nice bit of floor space because we're going to do some ground work today. All right, so the same sort of thing. Also as well, as soon as I start talking, let's have our hands up right from the start. So none of this, none of this sort of stuff. All right, so hands up right from the start. Even if they're hunched down, I don't mind, they're not half a stick to your face, but at least up ready to go so we're talking all the time. Just to build up our shoulder muscles, all right, in that static position. We all good with this? So guys, what I wanted to do for me, please, is <clears throat> everything that you can remember that we've done over the last four weeks, so we're now, when Thursday, we're now at the end of the fifth week already, would you believe it? So what I want to do is start doing all the shadow fighting stuff that you did. So you did shadow fighting arms, um, hammers and elbows, we did some knees, we did some kicking, we did some moving out of the way, we did some half rhythm stuff as well. But also as well, if you remember, we did some striking and defending off our own strikes. So we kind of worked into some sort of a routine where I was throwing a strike and then being off the defending end of it, with a leg hook strike, being off the defending end of it. Do that for me, please, in your own time. Again, what I said last time, don't keep looking at me and doing it. Just focus and just hear me. But every time you get a kind of moment where you're going, oh shit, don't know what to do. I wanted to just simply bring your hands down across, chin down, and do a soft front fall. But as you go down, imagine your knees were sights on the gun. So the idea being is that if I look through my knees as a sights on the gun, my head is off the floor. If I just break fall down and go, where is it? I could potentially kick. So every time you go down, look through the sights through your gun, and then practice one of your get-ups for me. So it's not a punishment, it's just that there's a pause in the battle and you're being hit to ground. So you understand that, guys? So we'll do this now for three or four minutes, do your own thing, but every time you get a pause, you think, oh, I don't know what to do. So I'll break, pull back down, look through the gun sights, and get back up again. We good? Just a bit of revision. Let's go. Also as well guys, make sure you go up the other side. So you'll always have a favorite side to get up, but challenge yourself every so often to get up the same way. We all good? Cool, very nice, keep practicing that. Warm up a little bit. Cool. Nice. So, gloves on for me, guys, please. Put gloves on very quickly. MMA or gloves, I don't mind which. We need to remind them when they do ground work, some of them need to tilt their thing down to the floor so you can see them. Build back. Um, yep. Cool. Now, if you just come forward so you've got enough space to go backwards for me. So I'm just going to um, do a quick, not necessarily demo with Shelly because you're not warmed up really, but I'm going to kind of explain what I want to do for me. 
So Shelly's going to say, do my number that I asked, not half. But if I do this and I push into her and strike into her, take that as a nudge, we'll just do a little soft break pull back. Does that make sense? So I might say three, two, and then she'll do a soft break pull back. Does that make sense? Cool. Thanks. So I pick up the phone. Hopefully your hands are up. Are we good? Here we go then. Two, bum, bum. Nice. Two, bum, bum. Just bend this for me as a revision from last week. Yes, for a bender. Yes. Three, bum, bum, bum. Duck under. I'm posturing. I'm posturing. Show me what sort of a preemptive strike we could do. So just looking for a big stomp kick, a big stomp kick, of course. A regular front kick, but also as well an intercepting uh, educational block too, guys. Right, so we can do that as well. Up and jobly. one up, bump, bump, duck under, boom. Soft break four. Look between your knees. Any of your get ups that you know how to get up with, and get up. Always get up somewhere different. Always get up with the one that you hate the most. All right. We ready again? Two up for me. We all good to go, Shelly? Yeah. Two up. Bump, bump, bump. Very nice. Duck under, come back with a big cross for me. Boom. Very nice. Three again. Bump, bump, bump. Duck under. Big stomp for me. Boom. Yes. Cool. Two twos nice and fast and a real explosive double tap groin kick. Well done, Daniel. Two for really fast, double kick. So double kick. Bump. Ready? Two. Bam, bam. Bam, bam. Kick, kick, kick. I'm done. Very nice. One. Boom. Boom. Good, 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 good. We all back up. We all back up. Bam, 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 bam. Yep. Nice. Uh, Daniel, you've done soft. Have you done us, uh, uh, Daniel? Have you done, I'm looking at his name, but I should be Have you done soft break calls with us in class? Um, on the ground? Yeah. Good, 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 good. Very nice. One up for me. Bump, bump. Yeah. Duck under, but follow it round. Come back with the hook. So the difference would be, for example, is that if I'm moving this way, it sets me up for this. Does that make sense? Well, so if I'm moving it like this, it sets me up for that. But if I'm moving this the opposite way around, it sets me up for a nice hook. All right, so if I'm doing this to you, it's setting you up for a rear hook. But if I'm asking you to duck, bob, weave, if you like, to the other side, because I've gone this way for this one, when I've come this way to this one, I can come back with a hook. Does that make sense? Cool. Remembering, guys, as well, if I do this, it's a double tap. So one would be. Bump, bump. Yes, cool. Very nice. Jason's joined us as well. <laughs> Jason and Steve will start doing the she, uh, screens to share between them. <laughs> so double tap for one for me. Bump, bump. Nice, cool. Now, I'm going to add into this for me, guys, just for a couple of minutes. Um, a, a, it's just a straight strike for you to defend it, but no relevance to the lesson at all, but it just keeps you sharp, right? It keeps you sharp. So, for example, if I did this, two, bump, bump, and I did this, you would all do, again, one more time, two, but say you had to hit me twice and I slipped and I come back with a big cross, you would then do what? You mustn't tell me, Shelley, you tell me they're doing it. That's what, that's, what, that's what they're doing. So you're all doing it inside the bench, I'm yeah. sure. Now, depending on your level, you'll either do like simultaneous, straight foot, or you might even duck and move, come up right on the table. Right, so let's do some straight foot. So two, bam, bam. Boom. Two. Bam, bam, bam. Yes, come back up. Duck under. Yes. Big stomp for me. Boom. Very nice. Two. Bam, bam. Big right. Yes. Roundhouse kick for me. Cool. Nice. Now, next one's for me, guys, please. Really super hard. Every strike that you do wants to be as hard as you possibly can. All right, so we're going to do Three twos and a stomp at the end. Three twos and a stomp at the end. Remember the four R specifically, the fast, hard recoil for me. We ready? So three twos, stand by. Go, bam, 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 and a big stomp. Boom. Cool. One more time for me. Again, go, two, bam, bam, 
Two, two, big stomp, boom, cool. I'm trying to grab you, I'm trying to grab you. So we should be either moving out of the way of the channel or putting in your frame to stop me getting to you. We good? Last little checkpoint for me, please. Boom. We all done a soft break for back and down? Yep. Cool, very nice. Guys, gloves off for me then, please. Thank you. So Shelly's going to probably spend as much time out here as she is going back there. So just bear with me on that, all right, guys, feedback-wise. So Shelly's going to come out. Better. I hope you've all run off somewhere and you've all shouted knife and you've picked up a bigger knife or something to defend yourself. So just Shelly, just make sure they all come back. <laughs> Yeah. All back? Yeah. Cool. So, this is the problem, guys, all right? This is the problem. I'm in a sort of squat position, and Shelly's just going to push me. Boom. And I roll back. But don't do anything, Shelly. Stay where you are. Go back, 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 back. If nothing happens here, do I stay here or do I get up? Does that make sense? So, just watch. So, Shelly's push me down, and, and I do this. Not any problem with me. Turning my soft right ball into straight right, getting up. No sense staying around on the ground, all right? Does that make sense? So just watch again. You push me down. Oh. And rather than staying down, as soon as I defend myself, I make a call. Do I want to stay on the ground? Do I want to get up and go? If I think for a moment I can get up and go, I'm going to get up and go. Make sense? So. What's going to happen is this, guys, for me. We'll do about 10 of these. I'm going to ask Shelly to do this. Can you know how to do this, Shelly? I hope so. Camp Shelly's on the camera now. So swap down for me. I'm going to get Shelly to do a soft break fall. All right, soft break fall. Well, now, if I don't do anything, she, she gets up and goes. And because we're doing a retreating, get up and go, all right? That's what she'd do. Now, if I push Shelly down, squat down for me, and I push Shelly down low, and I come towards her, I want to start, I want her to do exactly what she did, get into a more defensive position. Does that make sense? Thanks, like Joe. So we're going to do 10 of these, guys, all right? So it's going to start off with me, with you guys crouching in the front of the camera. I'm going to push you, all right? And if I pause, you get up and run. If I push you, and start to come towards you, stay on the ground, tighten up, and get ready to defend. Does that make sense? Thumbs up if you can hear me all right with that? They just tilt their camera down. And if you so. can make sure your cameras are tilted down, guys, remember so you can, so I can see the edge of where you are, I can give you some feedback on the ground then, all right? Cool. So just, just give me 30 seconds to sort your cameras out. So you mustn't drop yours, all right? When you're breaking it. Sue has a lovely position with hers. Sue, so don't change yours. <laughs> Costa, oh, Costa can't do his, okay. okay. Cool, so guys, we are on the drill. We're just gonna do 10 of those, you ready? So crouch down, like having a pool of books. You ready? <laughs> Sorry, Daniel, we got the team on the group. The guy said that. <laughs> you ready? Squat down, go. Yeah, back up, so don't you back up again. Back up, guys. Ready, 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 ready. I'll just stay down. Get defensive because I'm coming towards you. You good? Come back up for me. Come back up. Get defensive again. Spot back down. I've paused. Get up. Move away. Nice. Well done, Cat. Cool. Come back again. Squat down. I've pushed you. And I'm coming towards you. I'm coming towards you. Coming towards, coming towards. So you get into defensive position on the ground. Elbows up, flexed ball. We all know this position. Well done, everybody. Daniel Grace, well done. Cool. Back up again. One, two. We're ready. Squat down. Stand by. Push. I 
haven't made any more advance. Bum bum, no. Yeah? Are there options? Yes, yeah, so you just need to turn around and run away. So make sure you we get up and run. Even though, like I do, I'm only going a couple of steps because obviously we don't run out of house completely. All right, back up again. Squat down. Push. Cool, very nice. Well done, everyone. Well done. Jason's doing it. I thought you had a bad knee, Jason. <laughs> see, you can't resist, can you? Like Steve, they don't even watch, but look at them, they're doing it, like, see? Huh? Shelly's going to come back up again for me. Try and make sure you can see where my feet go when I call Shelly in, all right? So Shelly pushes me to the ground, but she's coming towards me. Before I can start to kick her, because we understand, right? Guys, just move back for me. If I can strike, kick, kick, I'm going to do this and get up. But for the purpose of this drill, my hand on time. I've got, before I can even get there, she's on me. So she's on me, but what I'm gonna try and do, if you notice, is I'll put my feet onto her hips. Make sense? So I'm still in a fighting, I'm not going like this. I'm still in a fighting position, as I would be before. But see how her weight shifted there? That's fine, because technically she's gonna be pushing towards me, but what I don't want her to do is roll in and get to me. So I bring my other one up, so I'm placing my feet on the shields and I'm going to push, kick, and perhaps get up. Does that make sense? So just watch again, guys. Follow me in fast, shall we? Go in there. So straight away, I could have kicked, but as I was kicking, so imagine if I did this and she deflected it, she could already be here. Does this make sense? So we're using this as a slightly different variation of the theme. She's pushed in, I've got into here, now she tries to get me, I push. When we did something like this before, Sue, with Brian, pushed you and I said, I'm going to catch, same sort of drill. So I'm going to hit like this, all right? So as soon as she presses to get me, I'm going to push and get in the position to get up. But for this drill, rather than us getting ready to get up, she's following me now. Boom, I'm going to push and I'm going to get up and get out of there. Make sense? Cool. So, thanks, Shelley. Now what I want to do, guys, for me, please, again, I'll do five or six of these, is if I push you and pause, you get up and run. If I push you and I give the big, the big kind of, I don't know, skydiver stance, you're going to put your hips in, push me away and get up. Does that make sense? So I'll perhaps do six, seven, or eight of those, maybe. I lose count anyway, to be fair, so I know you do a lot less. Does that make sense? Thumbs up for me, what do yeah, so this isn't very flattering for me, I know, but I'm basically doing this. But resistance would mean that would mean that both my hips come up into this position. It's almost like a, a double bridge. Does that make sense? Cool. So again, ready, ready, ready. Half squat down. Push. I'm on you straight away. Both feet into my hips. Absorb me, push me away, get up and move. Show you a big thumbs up at the back. Get up and move, come straight back. Cool. I'll squat down. I push you. I'm on you. You absorb it with your legs. Push me away. Kick and get up. Does that make sense? So we're delivering our first counter attack. Cool. Now you know I always like to have two or three kicks. You can remember in class, uh, I don't know what week it was, where we did bridge, kick, kick, and go, didn't we? And also we added to that kick, 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 and go. So you can bring that previously learned technique into this class too, guys, all right? But don't stay around too long kicking. If you've got some brace, deliver some kicks and get away. To key areas, key areas, Groin, solar, chin, side and knees, and those sort of place areas. Does that make sense? Cool. Squat down, stand by. Go. I haven't come towards you. You should all be getting up and going. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Speak to Michelle? Yep. Yep, cool. Back in the hot spot again. Squat down, squat down, squat down, stand by. Go. <coughs> I'm moving towards you. I'm on you, brace, push me back, cut the big kicks, roll, whichever way you're gonna do and get out of there. Cool, 
Nice. Do the same thing, pick up an object this time. Quickly show the camera at the end. You ready? So half squat down. Stand by. Push. I'll follow you in. Push me back. One or two kicks. Grab an object. Get up, grab an object. Get ready to defend. We all got that? Steve's got a little mouse. Steve's got a little mouse. <laughs> Things from his office. Things if that was my mum attacking you held a mouse up there, she'd be running for miles. So why not <laughs> indeed? So um Shelly's gonna come around again. Shelly, you're on. <laughs> so I'm just make sure I'm staying on track. That's her knee shield. So yeah, so imagine now, so Shelly's pushing me, cool, and she's got in here. Not on top. I know you want to, but not yet. All right, it's not till after nine as watchers. Right, so we're getting into this position. Now, if Shelly pushes my knees, she can get in. Even if she just forces hard, she could get in. So I wanted to introduce you to a reminder of our knee guard. All right, our knee guard. So as soon as she's hit, I want to be turning, press against you, Shelly. Now, this is the bit I said at the beginning, where ideally you need someone with you, all right? Because now I can press. So she's pressing, I'm pressing. Keep pressing, Shelly. Keep pressing. So I'm switching now from one knee guard to another knee guard. Does that make sense? Now, if I have my knee guard low, she can reach me, look. So my knee guard needs to be up, press against me. So now my knee guard is up, I can be up. Does that make sense? I can lift my hips up high so I can get to her shoulder. Does that all make sense, guys? So I'm just going to practice. One roll from, use your left side to the other side. Your partner's still trying to get to you. So I'm pushing, I'm pushing, I'm pushing, I'm pushing, like so, actually. If you've got boobs up here, then you might want to have a bodyguard. <laughs> I don't need someone else to fight for you, but I mean one of those bodyguards. Cool, so, um, just lay down on the floor for me in a minute, and just practice being like a half shrimp, if you like, Pick a four in this position, but you'll be up. Up pressing, rolling, up pressing. Just think of it as just one, two. One, two, kick, get up. One, two, kick, get up. Does that make sense? That's good. Yeah, they're just waiting for instructions. No, so just practice those guys. Stand the ground, practice those. There's two or three of those from each side, and some just don't get up. We all good with this, guys? So I'm going to ask Shelly to come out a second for me. So I'm a big oath, right? I'm a big oath. Now if Shelly leans towards you and places that knee up right up high, right now it's difficult, right? Because I'm not being an attacker. That makes sense, I'm not being an attacker. But look where that knee goes. I'm not going to make it too obvious, but look where that knee goes when I go together. It's right up here, isn't it? Does that make sense? So this is where you need a nice partner, but also as well, make sure, look, make sure that you have bridged up nice and high. She pushes me with a bridge, push me, push, and then she rolls back to the other one. Each time, trying to get here. The floor is, unless I push against her, uh, she's got nothing to work against. Does that make sense? Cool. So what I'm gonna do is, same drill for me guys, same drill. You can half squat down. I'm going to push you. All right. You'll do a soft break fall. If I'm here, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? Knees, feet against my hips, push me away. If I push you and I follow you down and I get to here, knees crossways to my body, work one, work two, kick and get up. So you would do something like this. You would do one. Two, kick and go, or you'll do one, 
two, kick, and go, whichever works for you guys, all right? Does that make sense? So a little bit of a summary drill. A little bit of a summary drill, but we're not finished yet, all right? So we're doing a summary of a summary. Are we ready, Anne? So gloves up, ready? So we half squat down. We'll do four of these. One, two, three, four. I push, you're down on the ground. Soft right pull. Push against me. One, two, kick, and get up. We good? Back in the fall again. Just wait for Daniel. Come on, Daniel, you're the youngest. He's got his dad's after him. Oh, his dad's. <laughs> Give them good, give them all you've got, Daniel's dad. <laughs> Take no prisoners. We ready? Squat down. I'm pushing you. I'm a little bit slower this time. Feet in. Guys, if you've been helped, put their feet here for us. They know where to go. Pushing you away. Roll over. Get away. Push count. Come straight back up. Squat down. Last one. I push you. And I'm on you. I'm on you, I'm on you, I'm on you. Bridge against me, bridge against me, kick, move out of the way. We all good? Mm -hmm. Very nice. Can I have, please, guys, five kiss press up? So, a five kiss press up is this. So, this is a normal press up, right? A kiss press up is where I go, where my nose touches the floor, and if it was super clean, um, I'd give it a kiss. So, five kiss press ups for me, guys, please. Let's go. Five kiss press up. Push up all the way up. We all done? Just wait before Yep, done. Cool, nice. So, um, it's all gone wrong. Shelly, can I borrow your hands? It's all gone wrong. Shelly's pushed me down. Oh, and she's fallen me in so fast that she's got to hit. I haven't even had a chance to get my knee in. All right, my guard in. Now, I could close with her and keep her close and do what I've got to do. But on this occasion, she's pushed me and got me into a choke. So, um, let's have a look at using our right hand because it's closest to you as your pushing hand. So, we're going to go into this hollow here. But at the same time as well, I'm going to strike her chest at the top, put my fingers in the hole. So that's one. Next one would be, I'm pushing and I'm plucking. Remember what we did uh, Monday, I think, with the big hooks? So I'm plucking and pushing. But at the same time, I'm going to try and get that knee guard in. That knee guard in that I did before. So I'm going to push, pluck, shrimp, get that knee guard in. This means that this leg is free. This leg can now work here, work the head, work the body, wherever you want it to go. Make sense? So I'm just going to show you a visual again, then we're going to dry drill this. So she choked me, all right? She choked me. I'm going to pluck, push, get my knee in. <laughs> From here, I'm then going to uh, show her my soul, strike, deliver some strikes, get out of the way, Shelly, please. Then I'll be get up in place or a and get up. Does that make sense? So Shelly's going to go back now and I'm going to give you some feedback. So I'm going to stay in the ground for this. So, uh, big thumbs up, Shelly, if you could all see me on the mat. Uh, yep, all done. Cool. So, the tack is between our legs, right? The tack is between our legs. Um, could we try to pull our trousers off, drag off feet, choke us, or let your imagination drift, all right? Needless to say, we don't want that person there, all right? So, when I'm getting choked, I'm getting a downward pressure. It's only really a downward pressure when I lean and I squeeze. Does that make sense? So I'm leaning and squeezing. So I've got to problem solve that downward pressure. I must problem solve that downward pressure by one, pushing up, and two, plucking. And the other downward pressure is coming from the person. So I need to shrimp a little bit, maybe, to get my knee in. So while I'm doing this, guys, practice as well, all right? So I'm going to push and pluck and shrimp at the same time. See what I'm doing? Push, pluck, shrimp, get my knee in. Then I'm back to this position we were at the beginning of the warm up. And we're moving around with our knees, moving around with our knees, leg comes up and kick. 
You all good at this, guys? I've done it really well on this, Dad. Good. Well done, Daniel. Well done. So, pressure's on. Chin down as close as I can. I'm going to try and push fingers in that hole, all right? So this hole is where we're trying to get our fingers into, all right? And it's not very pleasant, all right? But we need to get in there really, really hard. So push in really hard to that place. So we're going to push in hard. Shrimp, get my knee in. I'm going to hold this hand close to me. And then I'm going to bring this other leg back, all right? And push, push, kick, whatever I need to do. We good with this? So I'm just going to shed, come around back one more time for a visual. So Shelly's followed me in. If I can, I'm going to try and get a knee in early if I can, but if I can't, I can just shrimp and do what I've just done before. Now she pushes me, that's cool, but now she broke my guard and she's in. So now's the problem. Does that make sense? Now's the problem. My knees are out. I want my knees in because she can get close, but I don't want her to get close. So I'm going to push and shrimp to get my knee in, but I'm going to hold this hand. Pull up, Shelly. Oh, cool. Now I'm pulling her and she's pushing, which means I can do this action. To stop her getting to me and then this bad boy is either going to come around here and smash her up or I can push down and make my escape whichever works best for you. Now of course you can do it the other way as well. So she's on, there's nothing stopping me doing this and no less way around. Make sense? There's not a wrong or a right. My preference is this all right but uh, the other is, is another way too. Does that make sense? Because if I roll forward now, I can put her into an armbar if I was that way inclined. Does that make sense? Happy days? Cool. So, let's um, have a little look at the whole thing, guys, all right? Have a look at the whole thing for me. So, I'm going to ask you to squat for me. But we're going to do this nice and slow, right? Nice and slow, because at least partner and practice are actually more, more so. So, I'm going to ask you to squat down. I'm going to push you, so I'm pushing you now. Squat down, bam, 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 and I'm in. As I lean forward, guys, and I put my hands on the mat, I want you to do the whole technique. All right, so as you drive through the whole technique. Are we ready? Thumbs up, guys. Look at the camera. Some sort of thumbs up. Are we ready? Yeah? Yeah. Good. Yeah. Shelly's nodding there. Yeah. It ticks everywhere. Same again, guys. Half crouch down. I'm going to push you. Boom. It's all gone wrong. I'm on you. Pluck, push, knee in. Hold that hand with a plucking hand. Big kick. Get up. Nice? Yeah. Cool. I'm just looking for Shirley because she's obviously giving me feedback. So half squat in front of me again. Push. I'm on you already. I'm on you already. I'm choking you now. I'm choking, choking, choking. Pluck. Push. Knee in all together. Big kick to the head. If your hand, leg won't go, kick to the body. Then switch to this leg to the head. Doesn't matter which you use, guys, all right? Just be comfortable with delivering. Lots and lots and lots of multiple kicks to different heights and places. Feel good? Cool. One more time then for me, guys. One more time for me. Switch sides as well. Are we ready? Push. On you. Pluck. Push. Knee in. Strike with your legs. Kick to the head. Kick to the side. Move this leg away. Get up and go. Very nice. Are we all good? Yeah. Cool. Nice. So, guys, quick standing refresher. I'm getting choked. I'm getting choked. So, if you recognize the similarities with this, can I look for Shelly again? If you recognize the similarities, if Shelly's got hold of me here, and I do this one. Also, be driving forward as a variation to a choke because I want control. This is the same sort of action. It's the same action that you're doing on the ground. Striking, with fingers in the hole, pushing away, 
to make the space for that knee if it's not already in. We get the knee in first off straight away. We all good with this? So, what I wanted to do for you guys is we're going to do a quick summary drill now just to put it into perspective. But it's going to be, uh, you're going to have to open your eyes and react to where I am. So, what, what basically happened is this. I'm going to ask Shelly to come out again. Up and down like a yo-yo, right, Shelly? Mm -hmm. So, Shelly's going to go do a soft right fall back and get into a normal position on the floor. So, normal position, ready for this position. So, she's laying down, hands up by her side. Her eyes are closed. All right, so you're going to be in this position on the ground, guys, all right? When I say go, I'm either going to be here. So when I say go, Shelly will look up and put her knee into this position. Does that make sense? Cool. And then she'll do left, right, kick, and move out of the way. Thank you. Say that. If I then say go, she can do this from now. <laughs> She just wants to destroy me, go back there. If she wakes up and she's here, go. Exactly, because I'm going to get her. So you push me away, bum, 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 and go. Last one, if she's laid on the floor, and I say, go. Make sense? I know it's difficult, but you can see that for you to judge the time, I'm either a real threat to you, but I'm not on you, so you get up and go. I'm not quite there yet, so you could kick and show you right to kick, because that's what we generally train. But if I've missed the kicks and I'm already on you, you need to put a defensive position onto your, onto your legs, so you're pushing me away. But if she wakes up and I'm here, she's going to put her knees across me. And if she wakes up like this, like I'm going to do you guys in a second, she's going to do a trick. I just want to make to get back. Do you understand that, guys? Yeah, cool. So there's about three or four different variations there, depending on where I am, guys. All right. So uh, lay down on position, just like Shelly was on the ground, eyes closed. Eyes closed for me. And respond to my position when I say go. Are you ready? Go. Very nice. nice. Just give me a big thumbs up. Come back to the same position here. Eyes closed. Go. Nice. Yeah. yeah, nice. Cool. Same position. Eyes closed. Eyes closed. No peeking, Sue. I can see you. No peeking. <laughs> Go. Knee in, knee in, kick, get out of the way. Or one knee in, kick, it's only a principle, remember? Cool. Back to that same position then, eyes closed. Go. Nice. Nice? Very nice. So, we all understand the four, right? So, they're the four variations. Very nice, very nice, very nice. So, back into positioning, guys. Eyes closed. So, we're going to fire through these now, guys. All right, eyes closed. Go. So, that should have been legs to hips. Back to start position. Knees in, knees in, kick, move away. <laughs> Keep speaking to me, Shelley. Yeah, I guess. Very nice. Eyes closed. Go. Good. Eyes closed. Go. Cool. On your feet. 
Half squat for me this time. Half squat. As soon as you hit the floor, eyes closed. All right? I'm going to push you back. Hit the floor, eyes closed. And when I say go deal with the feet. Go. Go. Nice half squat. Half squat. Stand by. Go. Go. Nice. Yeah. Very nice, guys. Very nice. Last one, half squat. This one, I'm going to try and catch you out, all right? I'm going to try and catch you out. Go. Eyes closed. Eyes closed. Go. Ah, uh, do you want to hear the chili? Ah, uh, let's smash me up. Getting up. Yeah. Can we go all up? Yeah. Well, she's struggling. She's, oh, she's just getting up. Come on, Sue, so you're not asleep. <laughs> there you go. We all oh, good? Cat's picked up an object. Cat's picked up an object. It's cool. Good. Very nice. Last one, then. Last one. I'm trying to catch you out. <laughs> never happened. Steve, please. Hang in there, Steve. We've got another minute, all right, buddy? Half squat. <laughs> You're only going to watch anyway. Half squat. Push. Eyes closed. 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 Go. Good. Just gone up. Oh. Uh, cat's picked up an object. Cost has ran out. Steve's picked up a notebook. A notebook. We're going to drop your letter. <laughs> You're going to just roll it up, though. Very nice. Good. Well done, guys. Well done. Come back out again for me. I'll be all back. It seemed a lot easier on paper, I have to say, guys. All right, simple. We all good with that? So, just by way of a quick refresher, it is a uh, P1, P2 technique. Um, same technique as if I was kneeling by your side, but this time I've got between your legs. Um, but as always, guys, prevention is key, all right? Prevention is key. If you can stop it happening, then that's what you do, all right? If I've managed to get hold of your throat, there's things that perhaps you haven't been effective with in the build up to that. So we looked at being pushed to the ground and having time to defend yourself on the ground so don't get injured, hence what's in the soft break for. To evaluate for a moment and then get up. All right, so we call that getting up and retreating. That makes sense. You, of course, could have got up and attached, which is getting up and attack, or you could have got up in place. Trouble is with getting up in places, you haven't gained any space. You're still in position. Does that make sense? So I quite like get up and retreat, get your better position, fight another day, or get up and attack and fight, fight, fight. Does that make sense? So try and not necessarily avoid the middle one, but don't like it your go-to one all the time, all right? Make it good. So we did that as a decision-making exercise. Then we spoke about if there was a delay between the two, of course, you would deliver your kicks to me, kick, 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 and get up, which we've practiced in previous weeks. I surely did this thing with people. But if you've missed those, to put in your kind of a double bridge guard, if you like, into my hips, into my hips, to absorb, to push me away, to kick, 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 and get up, make your escape that way. Again, not staying on the ground longer than you have to. Then we looked at, it's all gone wrong, but unless I've got uh, six foot long arms, I've still got to do this to get to you. So while I'm here, this is a chance for you to do your half shrimp to get your knee in. So knee in, knee in, kick and move out of the way, because I'm going to move it, I'm going to so get a bit of a cadence going, move, 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 kick, get out of the way. And then we looked at, 
Technique's gone wrong. Technique's gone wrong. We're going to pluck, push, and strike into that area and hold it. So we're doing a bit like an archery type action, getting space for that knee to come in to bridge and push. Hold the holding knee. This leg comes over and kick. We also mentioned you could bring the other leg over and kick too if you want to. And strike, 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 get up and go. Does that make sense? It's all the same part of time. We all good with that? Perfect. Excellent. So, legs together, hands on thighs. Good job. Well done, guys. Give yourself two flat points. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Well done, guys. Thank you. Switch up.